sitting here having a cup of tea. Thought I'd tell you about an oil called bergamot. Bergamot, bergamot, I don't know how you pronounce it. Depends on where you come from. Uh, so, bergamot, let's call it bergamot. Uh, sounds a bit more French this way. In fact, this oil actually is a French one. Um, I will talk to you more about the, the benefits of them, but uh, let me tell you a bit about the brand of oils that I'm using. I'm using everyone's brand. I personally, Helen Bairstow, aka the Joy Sprinkler, use any one's brand of essential oil, as long as they are preferably organic and come from a really good source. Think of bergamot as the oil that's good for getting rid of butterflies. It's good for nerves or any sort of anxiety. Now, how you can remember this is that bergamot is the key ingredient in Earl Grey tea. It's actually the bergamot citrus peel, because this is citrus, the peel from the bergamot fruit, which I've never tried by the way, um, is ground up and put into the tea to make it Earl Grey tea. So think about bergamot being there for you when you want to relax, yet be uplifted, just like those days when you need to have a uh, a big cup of tea because it is really really good for anxiety and those nervous butterflies which is one of the reasons why I think it's proven to be very good for skin conditions because a lot of those skin conditions uh, are stress related. This when I was in beauty therapy this is one of the most go-to oils that we use for any sort of um, antiseptic, any sort of um, uh, skin issues. To you why, um, it's got a very, it's very cleansing and my 13 year old son actually uses this one in his sugar and honey scrub, which is a fabulous recipe, which I can give you, I'll send you if you want me to. The key word to remember for, is for to uplift. Now uplift isn't stimulating. Uplifting doesn't mean to say you're gonna get up and go. So that's why it's good to think of Earl Grey tea and your cup of tea, bergamot, sit back, be relaxed and get calm. That's a good way to think of what, what uplifting actually means uh, it it's a top note so when you put it in the diffuser it'll evaporate very easily it's a um, it's a very light odor um, when I say light it's a one of the the most subtle oils especially if you are going to um, introduce maybe a child or maybe you know somebody to essential oils for the first time it's not overpowering if you're as old as i am you'll remember a perfume called eau de clone i can even remember the bottle that it looked like uh, bergamot was the one of the primary ingredients in that it was a very very popular i think it was 4 7 11 Eau de Cologne. Uh, it was uh, such a, a light, subtle, floral smell. The bergamot, we, what they didn't know back, that, back then is that bergamot is very, very phototoxic, which means if you put it on your skin, and people back then, back then, used to put perfume on the sides of their neck and go out in the sun, phototoxicity means that it when it's exposed to UV light, so it includes ultraviolet light from the sun and ultraviolet light from sunbeds, uh, it will actually burn the skin. In fact, there's a really good story about a 10 year old girl who accidentally tipped a whole 
a huge amount of bergamot into her bath water and she was uh, kneeling, so thigh deep in the bath water, um, got out of it straight away, dried herself off and went out in the sun and there were blisters and burns, um, not, not deliberately going out in the sun, but uh, went out in the sun and it caused a reaction. So you have to be very careful. In fact, if you have it on your skin, um, you have to wait at least 24, I'd even wait 48 hours before you go out in the, the, out in the sun unless you are blending it at the maximum dermal level. Now, maximum dermal level, um, that's a percentage that comes out of Robert Tizeron's Essential Oil Safety book, which is the go-to book for anything to do with safety. Um, the maximum dermal level for bergamot is actually 0.4%. So it's very hard to measure that. So I am so excited and proud to say that the Joyce Sprinkler Essential Oil Aromatherapy app will actually, when you choose bergamot in one of your oil blends, it will determine the right dermal percentage into to be mixed into a carrier oil, which will make it safe to actually so massage therapists and people can use it on their skin and it that then no longer makes it phototoxic because it's within that safe safe percentage in your diffuser doesn't matter you can diffuse as much as you like you're never ever going to get a phototoxic reaction to smelling the essential oil it's only the topical application that you're going to get a, a, a phototoxic reaction. Now I'm going to enjoy the rest of my cup of tea because yes, it is all good, especially bergamot oil. Oh, yes, remember Look for the joy, it's always there. Don't, I'm not quite sure how to start it, which way it would be a good way to start it. Here we go, hello everybody. This is the first oil that we're doing. It's called bergamot. My video production person is going to make it look awesome with joy sprinkler. <laughs> Essential oil lap, and then it will be bergamot. <laughs> there you go. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Now maybe. Yeah, I know you wanted to be in it too, didn't you? You go, ooh, yuck, that stinks. <laughs>